welcome back to recap we're back at it once again we're hitting the outlaws for the first time on this channel and this is green grass and high tides okay the outlaws probably should have got to this a little sooner it's been it was suggested quite a while ago um but you know that's how it goes sometimes it's very hard sometimes things get lost in the shuffle anyway all that doesn't matter um I've never heard of the Outlaws, never heard of this song, so it's another one that I'm kind of going in blindly, but uh, I have, I I think I have an idea of what this might be like, and to be honest, the, the, the title sounds slightly familiar, I don't think I know the song though, but it does kind of sound familiar in this title. Anyway, we'll see what we got here, let's get to it, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, here we go. I don't know this. Okay, so far so good. Um, it's kind of like a high energy song. It started out slow, but it really picks up. Um, I like the chorus pretty much. Um, this does have a little bit of a country feel, and country music usually is not my thing at all. Um, we'll see how you know where it goes from here. I'm also going to look up um, the Outlaws just to see, you know, exactly what kind of, what their genre is of music. I, I would say it's probably not country. But I think it's got a little bit of a country feel to this song. Um, probably more like um, like uh, Southern Rock more than country. And those those lines can be blurred sometimes, but I think this is more towards the, the Southern Rock side of things. Anyway, let's get back to it.
Okay, so, so far I'm still liking the song. I gotta say, the guitar solo was pretty good. Enjoyed that, of course I did. Um, I hope there's more to it. There's another one, maybe, hopefully. And I'm kind of thinking there might be because this song is a pretty long song. And uh, they got a lot to fill if they don't do a guitar solo. Anyway, um, singer's pretty good. Bassist is really good. Bass is really impressing me. And, uh, of course, the guitar. So, yeah, everything is, is coming together nicely. I like the band. They're, they're played like a really good unit. And I will look up some information about them before I do the close. But let's get back to it.
okay so um i really really like that that was really really impressive i got some of the band members from what i gather we're listening to um billy jones frank o'keefe and henry paul those are the three members that i can gather from what i saw on wikipedia um of who's who's in the band at this time but the the past members the list is huge this band is actually it's been around a while they've been through a ton of people i mean if you want to really like look look at wikipedia and look at the page on it and look at the past members it's unbelievable i've never seen a band with that many past members before uh some have unfortunately passed away but they just went through a lot of people. But from what I gather, those are the three that I can gather so far from, from what I can tell. I think Monte Yoho is still the, is the, was on the drums during this performance. But if you know for sure, let me know. But anyway, I liked it. I liked the guitar solos, obviously. They're definitely more southern rock. They're not really country. Um, kind of like in the, in like, a, like the Allman Brothers were our southern rock. And they kind of focus on the guitars and... I love the Allman Brothers, some of the best guitar work you can you can find, and this is right up there with it. This guitar work was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Until next time, I will see you later.